Good morning, everybody. It is Thanksgiving Day, and I'm going to make a little bit of coffee here and then hit the road. We're going to go find a sweet spot to camp out and hang out all day for Thanksgiving. So that's our plan. Let's go. Excited to drive up the coast. I've never been there before, the Oregon Washington coast, and I've just seen pictures and heard it's really beautiful. The forecast was looking pretty dismal out on the Olympic Peninsula this week that I'll be visiting it, but uh, look at that. We got some sun. Well, this looks bad. Looks like a wreck might be up here or something. Not the ideal way to spend your Thanksgiving. Ouch. So here's the world famous cheese, milk, everything dairy producer, Tillamook, Tillamook, Washington. I would go in there and get cheese, but I don't need any cheese. We're in Rockwell Beach right now. I'm gonna get some diesel up here and continue on up the coast. get yourself a Thanksgiving meal somewhere down at the bar. <laughs> I'm excited y'all. We swung by Tom's Fish and Chips. Oh yeah. I'm sure it's good. Could be tourist food too, I don't even know. Yummy. Let's go find a beach spot and eat it. We have arrived to the little seaside town of Astoria, Oregon. And we're gonna be crossing over that bridge and heading up 101 onto the Olympic Peninsula here. I'm not gonna lie, I ate my fish and chips already. I couldn't wait. From Waco, Long Beach. Good morning, everybody. It is Thanksgiving Day. Woke up on the side of the road here. Couldn't find a place to camp last night, so just pulled off. We're gonna go find ourselves a sweet spot for the day and do something special. So let's wake up. Yeah. So here's our camping spot from last night. Highway 101 is right back this way. Today's Thanksgiving day and 
I'm just driving through a really beautiful part of the country and just passed through an Indian reservation back behind me, or that's what we call them here in this country. And I'm just thinking about Thanksgiving itself and what it means. And to me, it means just getting together with friends and family and just celebrating each other and just being with each other. And that's what it's become to me. The actual events leading up to Thanksgiving were not very pleasant, as some of you guys probably know already. There's a lot of bloodshed that went on between the Winoapec Indians and the settlers. And Thanksgiving was a feast between the settlers and the Winoapec Indians. And they basically came to a peace agreement that the settlers could stay where they're at. And they basically came to somewhat of a peace agreement. And I think on Thanksgiving Day, it's important to acknowledge that there is a dark history between the Native Americans and between the white people coming over here, which we didn't invade on their land. I think it's important to acknowledge that too, but it is a time to come together and to celebrate family and uh, to celebrate friends and celebrate the good in life. And that's what I try to focus on. So anyway, that's what it means to me. So today I'm driving down Highway 101 and I'm gonna try to find just a beautiful spot to spend the evening and cook a really nice meal and just enjoy my time in peace. That's the word. Let's go check out the beach over here. It looks pretty cool. Oh, this is just beautiful. Check out the sun rays coming through the rainforest here. That is the largest tree I've ever seen in my life. That is crazy. The base of this tree is probably, it looks like it's longer than my truck. I think it's 25, 26 feet. Now, this is just one part of the tree that fell. And that's probably seven and a half, eight feet tall right there. Pretty wild. Wow, look at that one over there too. Huge, 10 feet across at the base. Well, my friends, we've arrived at our camping spot. I found a pretty sweet spot. Check this out. Not too bad, huh? Found ourselves a spot in the jungle. 
I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten anything all day. Just had coffee. It's about 5 p.m. or so and Thanksgiving day. So let's go cook a huge meal. It's gonna be good. Get a little heat going here. What do we have in the menu, you might ask? Let's see. Well, first off, I got myself a pecan pie and uh, I obviously rallied the road a little bit too hard. <laughs> it looks like it's half eaten. That should be fun, but that's our dessert. Then we got the uh, home style mashed sweet potatoes up. Already has butter and sugar. Probably like baby food. Then we get some uh, home style turkey gravy. This looks better than the packet stuff where you just mix it, water, stove top. Then in here, we got the goods in here. We got the goods. Uh, here it is. Yeah. We get ourselves a whole rotisserie chicken instead of turkey. Just easier. I feel like there's one more thing we're missing. One more major thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. Mix some vodka and get this thing going. First things first, eggnog time. So when I made coffee this morning, I put it right there and used my Vietnamese coffee dripper like I always do. And I turned around and elbowed it into the wall. Coffee grounds all over the place, all kinds of wet coffee down the wall. All over my stuff down there is pretty gnarly. But we're past that now. Oh, shameless self-promotion. If you guys want any coffee mugs or uh, Truck House Life t-shirts, all that stuff, I get all that stuff on the website, truckhouselife.com. Check her out, helps pay my diesel, keeps me on the road and uh, Always appreciate support. Oh yeah. Mm, it's an exciting thing. First eggnog of the season. You put vodka in eggnog? Oh, you put rum. Oh well, let's do vodka. That's fine. It's all good though. It's all liquor in the end. Cheers everyone, let's get to cooking. And by cooking, I mean heating stuff up. Maybe I'll just eat it cold, I don't even care. Got our stuffings in there. Let's get our chicken in here. Mm -hmm. There's my little chicken. Hope you live a good life. Sweet, sweet mashed potatoes. Smashed sweet potatoes are one of my favorites. Thanksgiving is like dessert, even though I have dessert. I've got a freaking pecan pie over there. I'll be eating this for days, obviously. Probably tastes like baby food. Gravy, um, I'll just pour it on, eh? Doesn't that look lovely? It's gonna be great. And I got a pie to eat when I'm done. Fall 100, in she goes. It is so awesome having an oven in a camper. Just total game changer. All right, let's grab our eggnog and hang out on the porch. Enjoy the last bit of daylight here. I suppose everyone has reasons that they live like they do. And on this road trip, I've been just thinking about what my reason is of why I live like I do. And for me, my passion is exploring the unknown. Quite honestly, the vessel I use to explore it doesn't make a difference. To me, the experience of exploring new places remains the same despite the vessel. And what a gift it is to be alive in a place this magnificent, this mysterious, and this beautiful. I suppose I'm just really grateful to be alive today and really thankful for everything in my life and all the people in my life. Really grateful for this road trip and the experiences that YouTube has led me to through the means of traveling in this truck. And I just wanna thank you guys for coming along for the journey with me and and uh, experiencing everything through my lens. I genuinely appreciate it. Now let me check on the food. Oh. Tell you what though, we're getting dangerously low on eggnog, so let's restock. I forgot how good this stuff is. 200 calories times eight, 1600 calories for this little bottle of eggnog. Pack it on in. You know what though, it's Thanksgiving and it's okay. For the record, vodka and eggnog's pretty good. Never mind that face I just made. 
We're currently just off of Highway 1 on the Olympic Peninsula, and I'm on my way back to Alaska, as most of you guys know right now. This entire road trip has just been phenomenal. I've just had so many good experiences and met so many awesome people on this trip and just made memories that are going to stay with me forever, and I don't regret one second of it. It's been worth every penny in diesel I've spent and I'm gonna do it again before too long. I suppose I'm excited because I'm going to Alaska right now. I'm on my way back home. I've lived there a long time, like 20 odd years now, and my friends are like family to me up there. And I'm just really excited to get back into the groove of being home, back at the cabin, and doing some adventures up there and just enjoying time with my friends. Speaking of sharing, I'm about to share some food with my stomach. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, look at that. Look at that meal. Brown sugar sweet potatoes over here. Some delicious stuffing and some gravy. And a rotisserie chicken. That was so delicious, oh my God. I'm already full. I only ate half the chicken, half the stuffing, and half the sweet potato casserole. But I gotta stop. We get a pecan pie up in here. Smell it though. Ooh. Yeah. A little bit of pecan pie. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. That's the thing about eating a pie by yourself. You can just kind of start eating the pie. You don't even need a knife to cut it. Mmm. I can't eat more than that. I know. It looks pathetic, but I'm so full incredibly full but i'm still drinking this eggnog anyhow i suppose i'm just thinking about youtube of all things out in the middle of the woods and the reason i'm thinking about it is because i've always enjoyed filming and editing i've been doing this a long time i started on youtube back in 2007 when the platform started and i wasn't posting seriously i didn't consider myself a youtuber but i was still contributed to the platform back then and for me whenever i film something I have to think about what the viewer is going to be seeing in the future when they're watching the video. Therefore, if I'm thinking about the future in the moment, I suppose that means I'm not living in the moment. But, 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 I feel like filming and editing is a form of art. It's a way to express yourself through film. And although it might not seem like I'm living completely in the moment as I'm filming at the same time, I just realized that maybe I am because the moment that I'm living in is capturing that moment for everyone else. So maybe it's not such a bad thing after all, as long as you enjoy it, which I do. But at the same time, I do understand and I do acknowledge the balance in between having a camera on and having a camera off. And even though it might not taint the experience for me in the now, it might taint the experience for someone else if I'm filming. So I try to be conscious of that and balance my filming out the best I can. That way it doesn't affect the experience of the people that I'm around at that time. And if you're going to be a YouTuber, if you're gonna go get after it and go do this and film your life, I think it is very important to have a balance and to find a balance in between filming and not filming. For me, before I leave for the day, most of the time I'll decide whether or not to take a camera with me on whatever adventure I'm doing. And that's obviously my deciding factor for the day, whether or not I have a camera. If I don't have a camera, I can't film. So I'm just completely in the moment. As most people see the moment to be, there's no capturing up the moment. And that's totally fine. It's, it's healthy and I think that's wise to find that balance. And I can't tell you guys how many times I've had incredible moments and wished I had it on film. Most of my best moments are not on film. And it's fine if it lives up here and you share it with other people that are with you directly right there for the experience. Anyhow, I'm excited for this next chapter when I get back to Alaska. I've invested in a couple things. I got a really nice new drone for the first time. And I also bought a new lens for my Sony a7 III camera and a new microphone. And uh, I'm just trying to step up my production a little bit. And I don't necessarily want to change my style of YouTubing. I still enjoy the vlog experience, but I really want to get better at telling stories through the lens of the camera. Anyhow, thank you guys for hanging out in the back porch with me and talking YouTube. Really excited to get back up to Alaska and looking forward to the future of whatever this is. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. So that's all I've got to say.
It has been a lovely evening in the rainforest, but I think it's time to pass out. I just edited a couple videos and I hit the road pretty early, so I'll see you guys in the morning.